All right, so I literally just came home from Origins Game Fair. It is past midnight and I've been driving for six plus hours, but this was at my door and I'm so excited about this very interesting, uh, conspicuous package that says top secret. So I think we should start with this envelope and figure out what in the world we're looking at here. <laughs> this is fantastic, top secret. This will probably tell me when I should be posting this video, uh, I suppose. Here we go, top secret. Everdell Far Shore. We will be launching Everdell Far Shore on Thursday, July 6th, 2023 on our website. This is while I'm in Japan, this will be happening. Please enjoy the game, but do not release any content containing game information until Thursday, July 6th. I will plan to do that, so you're probably watching this on July 6th, is my guess. Interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. So, wow, without further ado, boy, this is going to be very, very exciting. This great big release on July 6th. Perhaps I should post this like midnight Eastern time on July 6th or something to be, oh, I don't know. I'm sure many, many, many people will be debuting this extraordinary uh, game, but let's see. I, now, I don't know anything about this game. I, I had maybe a tiny bit of advance notice that I was getting something Everdell related. Uh, of course, I've been getting all kinds of Everdell stuff from Tabletop Tycoon, but this is totally new to me. I'm not sure if this is a My Little Everdell, like family version, if it's just as heavy, you know, more of a strategy game like Everdell. Uh, is it a sequel? Is it a... I have no idea. It's a big box though. <gasps> Look at this. Ooh, it's got a nice kind of Libertalia looking vibe to it. Love those vibrant colors. Look at this Everdell Far Shore. Look at look how tiny Everdell is in that Far Shore. Boom, there it is. Because it's, it's a new game in the Everdell universe, I believe. So it's not Everdell something, it's Far Shore, you know, in the Everdell universe. So, gosh, a little axolotl down there and a dolphin, beautiful art. As always, the great Andrew Bosley, of course. I suppose I'd be remiss if I didn't just pop this guy open. So let's look at this. I don't know, literally, I know nothing about this game. So, the wind is high, the sun is breaking the horizon. It is time to set sail for adventure. Far Shore will send you on an epic seafaring adventure to explore and build in the rugged country north of Everdell Valley. Study the winds to sail your ship in search of valuable riches, complete for lucrative island locations before high tide rises, and be the first to claim valuable maps that will lead you to troves of treasures. I love it, very good. So what's this? Uh, Everdell, Edge of the Map. Far Shore is part of the Edge of the Map series, which explores the exciting, diverse lands bordering the Everdell Valley. That is so interesting. And look at this. So we have a very similar sort of vibe here with a, you know, Evertree-like thing here. Maybe that's like a, like a tower, almost like a lighthouse, maybe. And then we've got this oceanic tableau here. This looks fantastic. Four new crater types. Yes, beautiful. You know what? We need to just bust this open. Why are we sitting here looking at the back of the box? That's not what we're here for. Let's go. We have a, a sailor. Very good. A salty duck, it looks like. I like that. Very, very nice. We gotta be very, very careful. I do not want to mess this up at all. So let's be, uh, let's be careful here. Opening this. Lovely. Who else do we have? Some sort of... Uh, Oh gosh, well, what am I even looking at here? Oh, a crab, okay, yeah, what, yes. Oh, I see, it's an eye patch. That was throwing me off a little bit. Awesome, awesome, very cool. So, a duck, a crab, a little, uh, uh, what would that be? Sort of a, a hamster, a mouse type animal, and then a dolphin, a very smart dolphin here with a watch or something. Cool, all right, well, without ado, I better just go ahead and bust this open, here we go. Okay, oops, sorry about that. So we've got some new releases, Tabletop Tycoon, Milo Everdell. I've got that right over there, of course. Deadly Dowagers, but that's not what we're worried about. Okay, let's just dive right in. We got some rules, looks like a standard rule book about the same length as Everdell, I'd say. It really looks like Libertalia, doesn't it? I, I mean, I, all this, you know, nautical imagery really makes me think of that game, you know, and these anthropomorphic animals as well. So here we go, we've got some, yeah, constructions, unique, common, critter. That sounds like familiar terms from Everdell, of course. We've got some, uh, maybe some contracts to fulfill. Two, maybe points or a resource. Okay, there's our tower we're gonna construct. It looks like it is a lighthouse. 
Interesting. Okay, let's check out this board. All right, what's this? Okay, so a lot of similarities to Everdell. We got the same size board here. And like we saw, we have a, kind of a card tableau sitting here. Okay, oh, it sits like this. Okay, we've got the dunes, we've got the docks, we've got the lookout, and the bay. Okay, interesting. I, I, I can't tell you anything about the gameplay as I've uh, said a few times. So I assume it looks like a tableau building engine building game, uh, a la Everdell. So beyond that, can't tell you too much. We've got, uh, oh, driftwood perhaps as a resource. That's kind of neat. I like that. A curious one. Oh, metal anchors. Oh, yes. I like this very, very much. Ooh, that's, I do not have components like this in my collection, and I really like that. Oh, that's really, really cool. And you know what I have, actually? Uh, allow me a tiny, tiny tangent. It'll take me two seconds. I've got a wonderful treasure chest here with some coins. And I think I have some very cool nautical coins from uh, Draw Lab. Yeah. Oh, maybe a skull and crossbones would be a little too dark for this game, I suppose. But, you know, this is a very, very cool coin. I figured I could maybe use, incorporate these, uh, maybe this side. Anyway, I, 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 any chance to show off these lovely coins, but boy, doesn't that go really nicely with this, uh, these metal components. Oh my gosh, too awesome, too nice. Great, okay. Oh yeah, okay, I, I figured those were the four new animals in the game, that's so great. Was this a beaver? That can't be what it is, maybe? I'll have to look it up. And a bird, okay, was that maybe the duck that we saw? Oh, the, no, oh, oh gosh, what is this? We, that's our duck, or maybe like a goose, and a like a small bird, <laughs> and, and a crab, I love it. Okay, I'll just dump those there for now. Four boats, these are really nice, with some berries, or some cannibals, acorns, and some rope. Gosh, I am not usually one to do unboxings of games I'm not familiar with, so I'm sorry that I'm bumbling through this. Uh, unboxing here, we got these lovely blue gems. These are kind of interesting. They have more of a matte finish than a, you know, your standard crystals. Oh, it's like sea glass. Oh, that's actually really cool. So Hannah's a huge beach fan and we like collecting sea glass. That's what that's supposed to look like. Oh man, that is so impressive. I love the way they kind of went with sort of non-standard resources here. Shells, lovely. What are these things? What is this seaweed as a resource? And they're kind of rubbery. Oh my gosh, maybe some kelp or something? And then what would this be? Mushrooms, okay, like limpets, and then not limpets, uh, maybe some, some sea mushrooms. Uh, what, what, what's the, what grows on the sides of the ships that they have to scrape off? And, um, oh, what's that called, not limpets, is it limpets maybe? I don't think that's what that is, but. Gosh, boy, I, got, I am so enthused about this. I cannot believe that I, first of all, that I'm getting this game. I mean, come on, how is this real life? But also, I love the theme. This is so cool. I, I am a sucker for pirate nautical theme. So, Sailmaker, a snail. Oh my gosh, a sea chip. This is the animal, I'm not sure what that is. You have to tell me what that is. A, a chipmunk, maybe? It's gotta be something else. I, the, the sea dog, that's awesome. It's not a dog, it's a duck, but you know what I mean. Yes, yes, the crab, the octopus, a seahorse. Look at this tiny bunny and a sloop. Wow, 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 wow. An otter, what's this otter doing? A tangle raft, gain one seaweed. Oh my word, this is too much. Okay, this is this has already been going on for a while, so I'm sorry that I'm, you know, obsessing for each detail, but this is just too much. Man, this art is like next level. I really, really am impressed with this art. Okay, one more stack of cards and then I will leave you to it and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So <laughs> let me bust these open. And see what we got going on here. Take a photo with the other side of this card to share your experience with your friends. Okay, what's that look like? Far sure. Okay, now what's this? That's new. Prepare for season. Okay, let me a little play right here. Okay, that looks like our solo opponent, I bet. Yeah, with some different personalities. I love that. That's gotta be our solo deck, maybe. I bet that's what that is. Okay. Oh, maybe that's a solo deck. That seems like our opponent, a crabby opponent, yes. And then what, what do we have here? Are these uh, constructions, I suppose? 
Okay, so we have a deck full of, oh no, these are critters too. The Axolotl, awesome, awesome. Well, this is too extraordinary, everybody. I am so excited. I am, I'm dying to get this played. I am leaving for Japan tomorrow. Uh, so and I, I, I doubt I can bring this with me on the plane. I mean, there's a lot of space to take up, but I am, what am I gonna do with myself? Perhaps tomorrow if I, I should be packing, but I would love to get this played and, and go through the rule book, but Oh, we'll just have to see. But for right now, I hope you can settle for just a uh, unboxing. Thank you for joining me for this, by the way. I know my unboxings tend to be a little long, but you know, I, I'm enthusiastic. I, I do love touching and exploring everything in the game. So thanks for bearing with me. I hope that you are having such a wonderful day whenever it is you're seeing this July 6th again, presumably. I will be uh, in Japan, but of course, leave comments. I'll be checking my comments and all that jazz regularly, of course. So uh, feel free to stay in touch. And until uh, next time I see you, of course, I hope you're enjoying my top 50 games, uh, you know, breakdown. And I will catch you on the next one. Enjoy uh, your week. There's some documents there. And I will see you very, very soon. Have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. See ya.